I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, and I welcome you to Rejuva Center for Plastic Surgery, Med Spa Wellness, and Regeneration. These are really exciting times because we just recently performed a cutting edge surgery here in Tampa, basically reconstructing the breast with our own tissue and own regenerative cells, something that hasn't really been done before and with exciting results. The lady that had uh, some breast uh, issues, if you will, and we basically improved that with our own tissue and our own regenerative cells in such a manner that it's so much more natural and really clinically superior to many of the other options that she actually has. And so this type of surgery, because we use your own tissue, we use your own regenerative cells in a new format and with a new technology, so many new possibilities are now available. Within all fields of medicine, regenerative medicine will have a place and have very significant results in medical management of the future. It's, for example, stress urinary incontinence. And this is a condition that plagues both women and men, all ages, but particularly the elderly. And there is a system by which we can actually help this quite effectively. And simply, you know, harvesting um, the stem cells, the adult stem cells, or the regenerative cells, if you will, from your body and introducing them back in a certain very specific way to manage stress urinary incontinence. Looking at our face, for example, as we, as we age, our skin loosens, we lose volume in our face, we get the deeper folds here, we lose the cheek fat, we get the, the, the jowls that happen over here. Traditionally, we would perform you know, a facelift surgery for this, and it really makes more sense to correct the real problem. And the real problem is we lose the volume, so let's put it back. Facelift isn't really going to do that well enough, but if I bring my own fat tissue, replenish those areas that have lost that tissue, and really recreate a youthful looking face with your own tissue and with what is also going to last for much longer than any kind of traditional surgery can typically do. What's a very popular procedure in the United States is breast enhancement. Now, not all the women have are good candidates actually for breast enhancement, but now we have a wonderful tool that can actually deliver phenomenal results in women that previously were not able to get those kinds of results. There are other kinds of indications for this uh, new type of technology. For example, in breast reconstruction, there's a very large group of women who've undergone what we call breast conservative therapy, in which another form or another way to describe that is a lumpectomy. And basically what happens is you take a portion of the breast away and the uh, ladies then undergo irradiation therapy and other types of therapy and very often they're left with a breast that is somewhat disformed and basically a reminder for these women that they had cancer. And to date, we haven't had great solutions for that, but with this new technology, with the predictability and reliability and the superior you know, potential of this type of technology to deliver great results, it's very exciting that we now have a solution for many women that need breast reconstruction. There are other applications, including um, chronic non-healing wounds. This is also very exciting because many patients that suffer from chronic non-healing wounds, secondary to, say, for example, irradiation therapy, or secondary to trauma, or other vascular problems, they basically have an open wound that simply will not heal. With this new technology, we now have the ability to infuse or deliver regenerative cells that will allow the wounds to heal. And, and the case reports, reports are really quite phenomenal. Patients with open wounds for 20 years, non-healing wounds, within three months after one procedure, they're closed. A lot of women who want to undergo body contouring, simply because they want to lose the volume, they want to lose the fat, they want to get that nice curve. Unfortunately, with traditional surgeries, what happens is that 
when we perform the surgery, when we perform the fat grafting, we traditionally will lose about 50%, if not more, of the tissue that's actually grafted. With a new technology, however, there is the potential to actually keep all of the graft that is placed to be able to replace tissue in, 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 in areas that need it and have it done in a reliable fashion is incredibly exciting because now there are so many candidates out there that previously had no solution, no option, no surgical you know, possibility, and now we can actually help them from removing tissue to putting it back in, basically removing it from an area that you don't want it and putting it in an area that you do want it. That's very exciting. I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher from the Rejuva Center for Plastic Surgery, Med Spa Wellness, and Regeneration. If you have any more questions, just call our office. And you can call us at 813-884-0160. Look, live, and feel better.